Hey Heart fans, Butch Hartman here, how you doing? I'm so excited you're here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll always know when I'm here. It'd be kind of weird if you clicked on things and I wasn't here, that'd be like just an empty desk with you know the toys sitting here and maybe we'd do like a little Toy Story reenactment. That'd be kind of, be kind of cool. I mean, Superman, he could be Buzz because he flies, right? And I guess Bunsen would be, who would Bunsen be in Toy Story? He'd probably be like, would he be the Woody? Or would he be, I don't know, who would be the Woody? Maybe Spider-Man would be the Woody. Maybe that we'd have a whole Toy Story thing going on. Anyway, okay, actually that's kind of interesting because uh, Toy Story kind of leads me into talking about CalArts. Uh, CalArts, those of you who don't know, is an amazing art institute here in California, hence the name. Cal Arts. The whole name is actually California Institute of the Arts, and that's the reason I came to California because I wanted to come to Cal Arts as a young kid. I was a you know an animation freak as a child. I grew up in Michigan, which is far away from here. It's far away uh, from I'm in California now. It's very far away, as you know. It's uh, up in the Midwest kind of. I guess, you know, northwestern, west, not northwest, midwest part of the country. Uh, great state of Michigan, came from there, had a great life there, but there's not a big entertainment industry in Michigan. So as a kid, I wanted to draw, I wanted to do cartoons, wanted to do movies, all that stuff, and I didn't know where they were made. And finally, I, you know, of course, watched TV, and uh, to me, TV was this magic window through which I could look, and I would see, it'd be winter in Michigan, I'd be freezing, and I'd look and see all these TV shows that were filmed in California, this magic place, and I was like, where's where's this California place? Finally, years go by, and I, I want to be an animator, and I realized that the art school I want to go to is CalArts, and it's in California. So I made my way to California, and got to CalArts, and uh, it was one of the greatest experiences of my life. And before I got to CalArts, it was even more exciting, because I realized that CalArts was a school that was actually founded and funded, and found, I guess founded and funded, just take a letter out, and you have the same word, uh, uh, it was founded and funded by Walt Disney. But he created this amazing school for people to practice their art. And when I got there, uh, I was in the early 80s, and some notable people had already gone there. I think um, Tim Burton had gone there. Uh, I think Paul Rubens had gone there. Uh, Pee Wee Herman. Ha! Ha! He, he'd gone there. And I think, I think, did David Hasselhoff go? I, I, I knew there were, there was a couple actors that had gone there. Anyway, did the Hoff go to Cal Arts? I don't think he did. I gotta check that one out. But anyway, some notable people had gone there. It was really, really cool. And through my experience there, I got to meet some of the top people that are now currently running the animation industry today and people that had just done have done amazing amazing things butch who did you meet when you were there well i'm about to tell you um i went to school with a bunch of guys and girls who uh really helped create the animation industry that we all know today um, one of the guys i went to school with uh, it actually was a sweet mate with we'd have like sweets CalArts had sweets like if you lived in the dorms you'd have uh two people in this room a connecting bathroom and then another uh, two people in this room so you guys shared you know we shared a bathroom so uh i lived in uh my room with my roommate and then the two guys lived over here one guy was named kevin lima and kevin lima was the guy who directed the animated version of tarzan in uh, the 90s which was one of my all-time favorite disney movies he also directed the movie enchanted uh which uh again fantastic film so hats off to kevin did great i also went to school with kirk wise he uh lived uh, in the area but not in the dorms but he lived near the school but i went to school with him kirk directed the first beauty and the beast uh, which was the animated Beauty and the Beast back in 1992 it was the first animated film ever up for an Oscar So Kirk went to school with me went to school uh, didn't go to school with but he hung around a lot because he had just graduated school Rob Minkoff the director of The Lion King and a ton of other stuff and uh, he was just an inspiration to everybody as well uh, Kelly Asbury was another guy we went to school with. He was always floating around the school. He had also graduated before him, but he was hanging around all the time. He directed the movie Spirit for um, DreamWorks. Of course, don't forget about Andrew Stanton, who directed and wrote Finding Nemo and a bunch of other Pixar things. Rich Moore, director of Zootopia, wreck it Ralph, the list goes on and on. So what is the CalArts style and what does it mean these days? I think if you look at, like, let's take like, I know, just the, the look of the characters. Like, let's take Gumball, Steven Universe, Dipper from Gravity Falls, and Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I think those four characters kind of have a lot of similarities to them. Uh, if you look at the shape of their head, the smile, the eyes, sort of the body shapes as well, I think. And even the new Thundercats video, look at the style of all those characters. You kind of put them next to each other, they all seem to be like they're in the same family. And I think there's those elements of those designs that sort of lend themselves to being considered one style, even though I think it's just a trend. I don't think it comes from CalArts, because some of those creators, 
I don't even think a lot of them went to CalArts. Maybe some of them did. I don't know. But uh, there is definitely a trend that seems to be, you know, I guess permeating the cartoon world. But I'm here to defend the CalArts style and kind of defend those guys and say there really has been a CalArts style for a very, very long time. Because it was around when I went to school. When I started developing my own style, I didn't really have my own style. I would just copy everything I could copy. I first started copying uh, superheroes, you know, Marvel Comics, DC Comics, a lot of Hanna-Barbera stuff. I grew up in an era where Hanna-Barbera, era, Hanna-Barbera, ooh, rhyming. Uh, but Hanna-Barbera was pretty much the predominant cartoon company in the world. I copied Hanna-Barbera. I copied a lot of Warner Brothers, Bugs Bunny stuff. I copied, and I was, you know, just copied everything I could copy. and. I, when I got my first jobs in the industry, I would draw a lot like all of that stuff. One of the very first Disney jobs I ever got was on a show called Tailspin. And uh, I got hired to do some storyboard help on that show. And I didn't really get to keep the job that long because they were drawing Super Disney and I was drawing Super Hanna-Barbera and my style just did not fit into that style. So that's why I'm trying to encourage you guys to, even though there's one trend out there and one thing going on, I encourage you to draw in a bunch of different styles. That way you'll be more marketable and you'll, uh, your skill level will enhance. Because if you can do different types of drawing styles, you're going to be more valuable than you can believe. I mean, people will be using you for all kinds of stuff. So if you can draw this and draw this and draw this and just do it uh, with a moment's notice, people are going to see your talent and they're going to take advantage of it and you will be elevated to positions you can't even believe because you took time to develop yourself. But I know for a fact that artists like to emulate other artists. Trends come and trends go. So don't think that everything you see is the CalArts style. I think it's just a trendy style that people are really into. And uh, there's also, don't forget, there's also an amazing style we haven't even talked about, and that's the Butch Hartman style. So let me know down in the comment section which style is your favorite. Is it the older CalArts style? It's all based on Disney. Is it the newer CalArts style? It's based kind of on the shows that look like Gumball and the new Thundercats and kind of Gravity Falls, you know, Steven Universe. Is it that style? Let me know which style you prefer. And also, there's also the Adventure Time style. And for a long time, kind of in between there, between the Disney thing and the current style, there was the Adventure Time stuff that was going on. Everybody in the world was copying Adventure Time. So at the time, I was thinking, wow, the Adventure Time style is cool, but why is everybody copying it? I mean, that's awesome, but I don't think people need to copy things exactly. I think you can get inspired by something, but then make it your own. Because that's kind of, that's how everything starts. Everybody always starts off by emulating somebody. Even if you're a writer or an actor or something, you're always going to emulate someone you've seen before, but until you pull it down into your own style. So I'm here to encourage you guys to get, you know, get inspired by people. You can even get inspired by me if you want, but then take those things and make them into your own style and I bet I just bet you'll come up with something really cool and really new and you'll be your own Cal art style and your name might even be Cal like Cal maybe your name's Calvin and your last name is Art Solstowski and you could just short your name to Cal arts that'd be kind of cool well Cal it's nice to meet you I'm Butch Hartman Let's inspire each other. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And listen, leave a comment down in the comment section below. What style do you like the best? Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, art gives you power. Use it wisely. Hey, heart fans. Subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.